<laughs> I think it's gonna be nervousness when the camera clicks it and I'm like <laughs> it's gotta be something like that okay so I've had a busy day working I have uh I've recovered I love finding balance in moderation with myself, you know? I mean, yeah, I may be permanently retired, but <coughs> I'm still plenty of value, and I put in a solid day's hard work. Maybe non-traditional, atypical, you know, asymmetrical. It's all right, fair enough, yeah. Special ops, remember, outside of the box. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm sitting here with Lucky. Hey, Lucky. Hey. Hey, Lucky. So me and Lucky are kicking it here. And, um, I'm a dairy whore, y'all. I mean, ice cream, cheese, milk, the amount of milk I drink. or half drunk, um, with this whole drowning in snot thing and stuff, like I am really having to cut the dairy out of my diet, and remember, I may make things look easy, but that doesn't mean they are, you know, when they, when I got discharged from the army, the doc was like fucking, it was funny, because the doc didn't, <laughs> the doc didn't want me to leave. He called me some sort of blah, blah, blah. I don't remember. Like a happy depressive thing. Apparently I got the same problem that Robin Williams has. Right? Had. My, my condolences. Anyway, so... You know the phrase where they're saying that, you know, clowns are really crying on the inside? Yeah, well, it's as easy as I make this. Look... It is equally that hard. Um, and the doctor is like, oh my god, you're a happy depressive. You could be smoking and joking right before you walk in the porta potty and eat a bullet. And I'm like, hey, you know what? That's not the Army's problem anymore. He... He didn't want me to leave unmedicated, and you don't have a right to stop me anymore. Simple. And you know what? I really understand that somebody's finally actually listening to the fact that I got fucking problems, but you know what? The version of me you're worried about is actually really doing pretty fucking good, because guess what? I get a lot worse than that. But I'm also, I am everything everybody's called me, you know, except a lesbian and of, of no judgment, you know, to each their own. I personally prefer vanilla ice cream, you know, and I don't like spicy food, just the thing, you know, I don't like spicy food. Um, and I do like penises. It's a thing, you know? So, other than, uh, dyke, bitch, you know, be a bitch? No, no, I'll own bitch. And I don't personally see a problem because the whole genitalia issue is actually deeper rooted into culture, which is actually deeper rooted within, oh my god, look in a mirror much? Whatever your issues are, or a reflection of you. What problems do you have? What? I mean, and the fucking funny thing is, because we've got these parables and shit as old as time. I love fucking Ben Franklin and all his wisdom. You know, but the thing is, they all become rehearsed tropes, and we don't actually listen. 
those without sin cast the first stone. Oh, damn. Bitch, yo. Oh. Waste not, want not. No, 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 no. Yeah, waste not, want not. It's not about resources. It's about regret. If... Waste not, want not. If you don't just throw shit away, if you are mindful and conscious with your life choices, then you don't regret the decisions you made. Whoa, damn. If you did the best you could at the time, if you used those resources to the absolute maximum impact of efficiency, then you are absolved of the outcome. Because you did everything you could. Whoa. Shit. Even dear old Benji's taking on way new depths. Open your eyes. Wake the fuck up. Answers have been in our face the whole time. Anyway, God, I said I was going to stop working. Shit, right? Please. I just jumped on here to make a cute little lucky me an ice cream point, right? Because I'm kicking it here and I'm watching uh, NCIS. And you know, I see myself as Gibbs. I see myself as Gibbs. You know, I mean, and if My family, my brothers, and I don't give a fuck about gender, you know what it means. It's a brotherhood. If my brothers have my back, then I would pray I could live up to a character like Gibbs. The only thing I remind I would remind people of is that a person that is hard is equally that soft. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. It's fucking physics. You know, if you believe in this yin and yang Two sides of the corn. Perception is reality. I mean, I don't, I don't give a fuck how you want to look at it. It's the same fucking thing. If you want to take physics to psychology and back again, it's still the same thing. Whatever your mind needs to grasp it, good for you. Good luck. Life is not binary. We are not one-dimensional. And dear God, look at the grotesqueness of sh the elections that I can't even avoid. I don't even fucking want to know. I'm like, Duh! Wow, talk about polarization. How's that working for you, America? Shit. Vote no. Fuck you both, no. It's not what America was, and it's never what America was meant to be. We are Americans. It's time we reclaimed the values of what that meant. And if you're not sure what it means to be America, it means you're not African American, you're not Hispanic American, it means you're fucking American. And if you're not sure what that means, read the founding documents. It's pretty fucking plain and obvious. Be a good person. Don't judge. Be open-minded. Hey! The fucking founding fathers were universal Unitarian. You want to fucking pick a church? They were the church of, dude, let's all just get along. Yeah, that was the founding fathers. And guess what? They were human too. They were human too. They made mistakes like the rest of us. They did the best they could at the time of the job. And you know what? At the time of the job, they did the best they could. Good for them. You know what? 
I heard something about Clinton mentioned earlier on in the elections. I can only imagine Hillary was running, and I think I saw a bumper sticker saying that. I don't know. I don't want to know. I'm really much happier outside of that. Anyway, I heard I heard Clinton, and, and, and I will just forever be of the opinion. You know what? The world has changed. And if, he, let's just go worst case scenario and that he did lie, which of course, because we're in a society that would leave him goddamn no option to, but if the man was getting his dick sucked while he was handling business, mad props. Thanks for prioritizing business to keep on working. Cause you know everybody's getting theirs. You know when you point, there are four fingers pointing right back at you. You know everything that pisses me off about, pisses you off about me? <laughs> Why do I piss you off? Hmm. You know. Gibbs may be a hard ass. And I respect him for it, as I would hope mine would respect me. But you know what? He deserves it. And they learn from him. And yes, he is hard, but it is with good reason. And it is with love. You know, we, 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 we act one-dimensionally, like we think our behavior, it's just, you know, wow, first of all, there's always at least two sides, asshole, so think of the other person's point of view. Secondly, once we've actually hopefully bridged the gap to accepting that there is such thing as the other side of the story, so you're not just so grotesquely, selfishly myopic... We're not one-dimensional. We're much more like a ripple effect. So imagine the butterfly effect of your actions. And oh my god, if you're ashamed of the public knowing your actions, then why the fuck did you do it? Simple. Gibbs doesn't have anything to hide. The only thing he hides is shit that's none of their fucking business. All right. Fair enough. And there I go working again. When all that, I mean, I know it seems schizo and blah, 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 whatever, but it actually is really, that's work for me. And it's past 8 o'clock at night, and I know my, my lover would say, you need to smoke more. And I'm going to enjoy my, uh, <coughs> Actually, <coughs> you could hear. Oh, wait, maybe you can see. No, I, I won't share. But, man, I was laying down, and I had the top part of an ice cream cone. And in a little over 13 minutes, drowning in my own snot. Thank you, Orisman. And I, and, and I love dairy. I love dairy. I hate drowning in my own snot. Hate it, hate it, hate it. It's worse than anything I've had except for typhoid fever in Afghanistan, and that was... Whew. God, I remember, uh... I remember my, uh, former NCO that I was out there working with, right? And he's like, Ben, step it up, pick it up, we're gonna go! And I'm like, motherfucker. All of the... I've... Unknown at the time that what I had was fucking typhoid fever, and all of a sudden my half dead body was having to step it out with body armor and shit because some fucking asshole that regularly endangered other people's lives and single handedly caused policy problems theater wide 
for the security of the ID system. I had to step it out because whiny fucker had diarrhea? Not my problem. Your incompetence is not my problem. Did I blink? Am I a broken record? Do I need to pee? Do you do? Maybe let's just for validation so you get it an extra time. Your incompetence is not my problem. Now step aside. Yeah. The funny thing is, you know, the the point of view of the show with Grit Gibbs and stuff, yeah. You know what? That's filmed from the perception of his team, who for all intents and purposes are his loved ones. You ever wonder, wonder how other people viewed Gibbs? not always pretty. It's effective. It's meant with love. And it's me. I own it. And I am so proud of myself to be able to to be able to even see myself like that. You know, I mean, that's, that's, that's a long place from where I started. You know, superwoman complex, it doesn't care if I die or not. You know, it was, if I'm dying for the mission, be all like fucking uh, wharf about it and shit. Cling on, yo. If I die in battle, what up? You know, super woe man complex. Yeah, Gibbs has got issues. Don't we all? But you know, he's dealing with them the best way he fucking knows how. Hats off. He keeps his shit to himself. It doesn't leak on other people. But I've also learned to ask for help. There's a difference between smearing my shit of my own inability to handle myself around and asking for help. And it's yet a third thing altogether for me to fuck with you. <laughs> Just don't fuck up. Not that hard. You see, it comes down to shame. It comes down to shame, quite plain and simply. Hmm. If you've done something you'd be ashamed of, why is that? And if you're not ashamed of your actions and you have devotion of action? Oh, we just kind of saw it in one foul swoop, um, fixed, well, started the domino effect of fixing all kinds of social, cultural, American issues, right? Economic, you know, capitalist, capital sin isms. We just undermine the power of jihadists and such. What the fuck? Oh my god, we're not ashamed and have nothing to lose? Woo you just lost any edge you had. Oh my god, and because we're leading by example and we are righteously not fucking scared of shameful action. Because it is only reasonable to be reasonable. That empowers the people you're oppressing themselves. <gasps> oh, I did it. I went there. I said it. Oh my God. It's actually really not that hard. Look at physics. It's... God is an action. God is everywhere. God is everything. God is... 
God is a choice we make with every breath and every heartbeat. And if it's not, you're not doing it right. And it's not enough to be good. <laughs> it would be really nice if it were, but it's not. Wake up. Smell the blood. Because I'm not going to get in. I'd rather have people think for themselves and make their own decisions. Experiential learning. You should fucking know the words I say are true. And if they're not, just keep your eyes open and wait until you know whether you agree with me or not. Don't judge until you know. So, very lucky, Gibbs. Yeah. I gotta smoke more.